girl SJ here with real beauty and real food and real life and today we're gonna be doing a crab leg mukbang I want to eat some crab I finally got a chance to buy me some snow crab clusters first thing I want to say for those of you guys that do those mukbangs and they got a whole bunch of crab legs the big fat snow crab legs congratulations because them motherfuckers is expensive now, wait till you see how much I have. And then if you go back and look at their plates and see how much they have, it's like, wow. And as much as they eat and they still be small, and this is all I'm going to be able to eat if I be able to finish it. We're going to find out today. So, let's get on with how I'm going to prepare these and what I'm going to crab legs that I have. As you can see, there's like one, two, three, four. And you see how much these cost? Just what happened. A friend got them for me and half off. I'm telling you, when you see them with all that, can you imagine? They're spending five, six hundred dollars and they're eating it all in one sitting. Oh my gosh. I'm just not able to do that. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to eat these today though. So I actually have my water getting prepped. I put all my little seasoning spices in there and definitely. You can always check out my YouTube video in which you see me make my seafood boil. Here's one of them right here. All right, we got that water boiling. Look how long these are. Look how thick they are. I can't wait. This is my first time ever having these. I can't wait. I'm going to bend it and put it on in there. All right. And you know crab legs, they don't take long to cook, so don't overcook them either. That's why when you do your boils, you put the crab legs in last. Otherwise, it'll be overdone. Let me share with you guys. This is my butter. I had already made some. And this is the fat that's on top of the butter. Because this is the only butter that I have that I did not clarify. And so I'm cleaning it off now. What's the difference with clarified butter? One, it does it lasts longer. And also, it has those fats on it and top, and that's what basically my seasoning had mixed in with. Now, this is just some leftover butter I had before I clarified my other butter, so I'm not going to let this go to waste, so I'm going to use it. But I'm also going to strain it off of there. Now, let's get ready to eat. I'm hungry. All right, welcome to my living room. This is where I wanted to eat at. I got my butter, I got the remote, and I got my food scissors. You always wonder what these food scissors are for? Perfect for these things. So, let me tell you guys about my sleep study. I did a sleep apnea study. And I did it at center point. And to sleep, sleep apnea, is for everybody you want to check and see how you sleep at night because you know I was thinking that I sleep in the same spot and I never move <laughs> well with the sleep apnea study I find out that's not true it measures your brain waves it measures your sleeping it measures your oxygen it measures your movement it is so many different things that it measures um, mine was done without a CPAP because the lady felt like if I needed a CPAP she would have woke me up and put one on me. Mm. These are good. You always got to taste your seafood without the sauce first because, you know, it's like a fine steak. If you can't eat it without dipping it, then it wasn't seasoned right in the first place. So the season is perfect. Now the butter time. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. 
Butter is always good when it's been sitting for a little bit. And for you guys even eating with snow crabs, because these are king crabs, these scissors work wonders. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Have mercy. Have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you know, the only way you can get me to eat crab legs is when it's all you can eat or when I'm cooking. Have you ever went to the Red Lobster and they charge you like what? $20 for a half a pound? in addition to your food if you want to add on. Man, please. And they bring you out, what, three little legs? No, no, no. Mm -mm. Now, food is higher now, granted. But $20 of crab legs will get you more than one cluster in the store. I know the 34 gets you four. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the sleep apnea. So you have to check in about 7 to 7.30, depends on the location, at night. And I just found out they had days, so I would have did a day study. And you got a few little hours before they get to you. Mm. And what they do is they hook up all these things to you. See, I have a picture for it of them hooking it up. Or not the hook up, but what it looks like. Because it's crazy. Mm. Lots of stuff everywhere. They put it on your in your hair. So, they put it all around your sides of your temples. Because they're measuring everything. Around your heart, around your waist, around your legs, because they want to see the movements. And usually they have that done probably about 10 or so, and then, or 10.30 or so, they'll, all right, lights out, time to go to bed. So you definitely, if you like me and work nights, don't sleep that day so you can sleep. When they before they start the testing, they ask you to move some movements and things like that so they're locking in your position. Because they got those things that attach to you, those leads, they're monitoring everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So they have you look left, look right. They do it with just your eyes. Do it with your hair. Move your leg. And then it's time to go to sleep. Now you can get up and go to the bathroom, but you gotta unplug everything. Well, not everything. But they have it all, con all the leads connected to a little device. You have to contact the lady. You say, hey, because she can hear everything you say if you're talking or whatever. I didn't know I forgot to ask her if I was talking to sleep. But anyway. And they'll come and get you. They'll move the, unplug the device from the, the nightstand. And then you go to the bathroom, come back. They put it back together. Lead you back in if your lead, any of your leads came off. And go from there. And then you just sleep. Then about 5.30 or so, they come and wake you up. Okay. About 5.30 or so, they come and wake you up. They come and un take all those leads off of you.
and then you start your day. Now they do ask you a few questions to um, see if you have questions. And so I asked, well, did I move a lot? Because I really didn't think I moved a lot. And she said, yeah, you move a lot. Um, she said she had like 800 pages of data from me. I'm like, wow. Wow. And that's why I was saying, I forgot to ask you, do I talk in my sleep? Because how many of you thought that you don't talk in your sleep? But yet, your partner or family or whatever members catch your sleep and say, hey, you're talking in your sleep. Mm hmm. I forgot to ask that. So. I don't know if that'll be included in the data, but the data that they generate, there's a bunch of numbers. They'll decipher those numbers and send them over to your doctor, and then your doctor will talk to you about them. Hmm. Hmm. You guys, I just finished one full leg. I don't know how them people do it. They'd be having a whole bunch of crab legs. I don't, I just can't see. You know, now if you, you know, plus size and stuff and you got all that food, I get it because you probably, you can probably have room. But a lot of these people are just really small and just be putting all that food away. I'm like, golly, I can't do it. Well, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> These mugs is fire. With or without the butter. Shit. And let me tell you, because I know how much I pay for these, man, I'm going to sit here and eat. Eat them. Now, granted, I probably won't eat for the rest of the day. Mm. Look at that. Big chunk of me coming up out of there. This is my first time really buying these things. $81, y'all. Shit. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to make sure I get all of my meat up out this mug. And I'm telling you, y'all remember those little crab crackers and stuff that they be using? Man, don't waste your time on that. Get you some freaking scissors. These are these are actually cooking scissors because they came with my knife set. Let me quit dipping it in that butter. Mm. As you know, your crab legs are good when you don't have to dip them in the butter. It's just normal. For you to get crab legs and dip them in the butter automatically. Have you think about it? Have you ever started eating crab legs and you always gotta have your butter? You gotta have your butter. You gotta have your butter. But if the crab legs are already seasoned well, like these are, I need to dip them in the butter. I think because I've always had to dip them in butter, it's just program. Because I've been to some places. And all you can eat crab legs before COVID. And man, you have to dip them in butter because they don't see, taste like nothing. And when you dip them in the butter, and when you're eating all you can eat crab legs, you bring your own seasoning with you and fill it up inside of the butter. And you got a good crab legs. I can take my bottle of um, a garlic seasoning with me, get their clarified butter, and. Uh, Put, dip it in there. I mean, put the season in there and dip it. Dip my crab legs and I'd be happy. Because I used to think that um, the butter wasn't real. Because, you know, a lot of times when you see the butter is clear. That is because it's clarified. 
Look at that. Look at look at that. Mm-hmm. That's a big chunk of meat. So I be I be use those scissors with my snow crabs too. I ain't missing nothing. And I ain't struggling to cut them. Mm. I love it when you can eat the crab legs without the butter. Mm. You guys, that's two down. I still got two to go. Please tell me why I ain't doing what I'm doing wrong. Share a comment below. Let me know. What the hell am I doing wrong? Why am I full? I mean, I used to look at these and be like, what am I do with that? That 80 something dollars. It is only two, three, four of them in there. That shit ain't gonna fill me up. And I don't eat a lot, but I realize now that because they're so fat, that is all the difference in the world. eat all this man help me and you know how you usually break them mm -mm. man forget that and you break them a certain way so you can get that full piece of meat out of there yeah just use the scissors Oh yeah, and I know I'm videoing this and my head might be cut off, but man, I was ready to eat. Mm-mm-mm. Another thing to tell you guys. I don't know how much time I've been doing this, but now they're starting to get cold. But I'm proud of myself. I, I ate two of these. Look at that strings hanging from them. <laughs> mm. And you know what? Mm. These little things right here, these little stickers, these ones hurt. So don't waste your time trying to break them with your hand. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm. All right, so I'm getting full. Mm -mm -mm. So good. But I ate quite a bit of them so all I got is these two left to eat so what I'm gonna do is put them in the pot so they can heat back up and then I'm gonna share them because I really thought that I was gonna be able to eat this all by myself so that's why I be saying how in the world did they finish all of that stuff hmm I'm try I trying y'all I trying Okay, I'm gonna try to get this out of here. I'm gonna get look at that. It's all it's already out busted out there. You know how with the regular snow crab they be little pieces. That's a big ass chunk, and you don't want to get in there and get it too much because you want to get you don't get all the dirt. But shit. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm trying, you guys. I don't know how y'all do it. I'm trying. Mm. Now, you know, if you ever have any leftover and you don't want to save them, take all the meat out of them. Mmm. And use them to make crab cakes. So I have fresh crab cakes instead of using that imitation. Hmm. How many of you got out the ring? Don't try to know that. That sound is the same everywhere. Let me out. Now hear that. <laughs> Looking around. Oh, that wouldn't matter if somebody else is. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. I'm not going to sit here and overstuff myself because I don't need to. But I just wanted to share this mukbang with you guys. And um, please comment below. Let me know what you think. How in the world do you eat all of these? Let me know. Comment below. Please take time and hit the like button. And if you're watching this and you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to know that you guys actually like me doing the muck game. Man, it was happy to eat and it was perfect. I also uh, will tell you this. I don't put none of this stuff in my trash can because I've actually seen. I sat mine in a bag outside one day and a few days later. Yeah. So, yeah, make sure you throw those away. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. And please make sure, again, you comment. Because this is your girl, SJ, here with real beauty, real food, and real life. You can even catch me on Instagram under Sensational. Um, you can also catch me on Snapchat. That's why I don't have a lot of stories because I might do my stories on Snapchat all day long. Uh, sensational and I will see you guys in my next video comment below let me know thanks for watching Do the crab canaries make you feel like you gotta have some dessert now? I know I'm full. But I'm thinking about eating some cookies.